Katie, thanks. All eyes on that weekend. How is our forecast looking? You know, not too bad, but you're definitely going to have to bundle up. Yeah. It, it is going to feel like more like I'd say middle of December uh, with Woo. a little bit of some light flurries. <laughs> Those wind chills, I mean, it is here for at least the time being. So let's take a look at those temperatures from yesterday, and it even gives a good picture of what was going on. We've had a, a big push of cold air. Temperatures in the 20s, low 30s in Green Bay. Our normal highs should still be in those upper 30s and lower 40s, and we clearly were not that yesterday. Now, moving ahead, Still holding on to slightly below average temperatures, but we'll warm things up gradually a little bit. And then some of the later outlooks as we head into towards the end of November, perhaps showing a slight change of pace, maybe going to back to above average temperatures. But certainly not feeling like that this morning. We've got values of 19 in Watoma, 18 in Anago. It is 20 in Mountain, 24 in Kiwani. It is 28 in Ephraim and a 23 in Manitowoc. But with those winds coming in out of the west, between 10 to 20 miles per hour, the strongest sustained wind in Appleton right now is 20 miles per hour flat. It is feeling like six in Appleton, 11 in Green Bay. You look at this map and you think like, oh, it's probably uh, January outside, but it's certainly uh, not even December yet. So here we are, low pressure moving off to the eastern side of the Great Lakes. We still have a trough of low pressure, a little bit of lift and instability in the atmosphere. So that's sparking off a few flurries, some light snow showers. We'll have a secondary cold front move in here from Canada, and that's going to push in another surging air of cold air across the Great Lakes. So that'll bring in some light snow showers tomorrow, and then probably on Sunday morning, the widespread coldest temperatures we'll be waking up to so far this season. As for the time being, we have some light lake effect snow showers across the south shores of Lake Superior. There are multiple winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings along the south shore counties because of that accumulation. As for us, we even have our own little accumulation from a small pocket of light snow moving down south into northern, uh, I'd say Calumet and Manitowoc counties from Green Bay and Brown County, and that coated the ground with a light dusting of snowfall. Later this morning, into the afternoon, mostly cloudy skies, a few flurries possible. Heading into tonight, we'll have some light snow showers once again into tomorrow as breezy northwest winds start to pick up. Gusts approaching near 25 to 30 miles per hour. Not much snow accumulation out of this as we head into the next 48 hours, but a dusting to an inch is certainly possible. Our temperature planner for today into the mid 30s. Normal high is 42. It is going to be feeling pretty chilly when you factor in the wind chills feeling only like the mid teens outside. So you'll certainly want to bundle up. So our high temperatures getting into the upper 20s. West winds 10 to 20 gusts near 25. And then for uh, tonight we will drop down into the mid teens. Southwest winds at 10 to 15 tomorrow getting up into only the mid 20s with northwest winds 10 to 20 gusts near 30. 70 forecast. It is going to be a cold uh, holiday parade, but afterwards we'll warm up a little bit getting into the mid and upper 30s. Yes, it's maybe not screaming those 70s that we had. Uh, it almost seems like so long, but perhaps it was only about two weeks ago. I think you were here when we had those temperatures. Yeah, I feel like it was what a couple weeks ago we were in the 70s. I was rocking the short sleeves shirt and the shorts and everything. Feels like it was forever ago. Yeah, and we'll have to get used to this because, I mean, you're from Montana. You know how those cold winters are. That's right. Winter is on its way and it's here to stay. All right, Gino, thank you so much. We're going to be right.